Jihad holds a master degree in electronics. Since he graduated a year ago, he regularly visits the employment office to try to find a job. But the dozens of applications he has submitted have been unsuccessful. For him, it is the economic and political situation that is to blame for his misfortune. The Tunisian dinar is falling, the economy is crumbling and investors are leaving. Purchasing power is falling and in the meantime, the government has no plans or strategies and is far away from youth. Overall, there are no good indicators. And with a significant budget deficit for the next year and the approaching deadlines for Tunisia to pay its debt, things are unlikely to get better soon. Senior members of Nida Tunis, Tunisia's leading political party, admit that 2017 will be a difficult year. 2017 will be a difficult year for Tunisia. Our debts are increasing and it will make it a very difficult year. The priorities for the government are security and fighting terrorism, then regional development and reducing unemployment. This is the man President Bejikait Sipsi has chosen to get the country out of the crisis. 40 years old Yusuf Shehed will be Tunisia's youngest prime minister, and he knows that on top of his economic agenda, he has to bring hope back to the thousands of Tunisian youth. This government will be a government of competencies, a government of youth, because of our belief that young people can bring change. Also, women will be greatly represented. This government will be honest about the reality of the financial, economic and social situation. I also have a special message for young people, and I know that many live in a difficult situation. I would tell them not to lose hope and that the future will be better than the present, and that we can succeed, and we have no other option but to succeed. But for people like Jihad, the Prime Minister's appointment speech is a déjà vu, and Shahid is unlikely to make things better. Even the successive governments that came before said the same things, that they will be working with the youth, but it is the same thing over and over, and we have not seen any projects. In the next two weeks, Parliament is expected to vote for Tunisia's youngest government ever. While this may bring it closer to Tunisian youth, it has to achieve quick wins and bring concrete results within months before people's hopes fade away. Yusuf Geji, CCTV, Tunis, Tunisia.